Okay, uh, so this is my catchbook assignment for my class 215. Um, the main thing I really learned from this assignment was to slow down and really not only read for content, um, but to read to see any errors that might pop up, which surprisingly there were a lot. <laughs> um, I think it just really helped me practice my skills and like hone in on my skills. Um, and made me just like a better writer in general. So a few examples that I found that I thought were crazy were, um, I actually attended the uh, Western Fashion Week in Edmonton, and on the ticket, um, they actually spelt a really well-known uh, shoe designer's name wrong, which I found really shocking. So everyone who attended this event in, would have seen that and recognized that um, error. Another interesting one I found was, this was an ad in my local um, newspaper in St. Albert, and it's um, two chiropractors, and they actually put that Wi-Fi was available in their office, which I just didn't really see how that was relevant or necessary information. Um, it just seemed really like arbitrary and weird for them to put that. Um, this is another ad um, that was in my newspaper, and actually this is my mom's hairdresser. Um, the entire thing is just so poorly written. I, it almost like made me want to cry. So like, here's all the markups that I did. And this actually really taught me about how offended um, a writer could be. Uh, my mom actually wanted me to write it all out and make the changes and give it in to her. But after my mom saw how many changes needed to be made, my mom was like, never mind. That she might actually take some offense to. Um, yeah, and actually a lot of errors came up in my textbooks, which I couldn't believe. My law textbooks um, and my public relations textbooks. Just a lot of... Um, oh. Uh, a lot of spelling errors. Um, yeah, just tons of examples. A lot of querying I did. I really sometimes wonder why people put in the information that they do. Okay, well, this is my assignment. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Bye.